Hello, ladies. Um, I'm showing you something that you need to know how to do when you're analyzing data. It's really helpful to use the tools that Google Sheets or other spreadsheet applications give you. So I'm just going to show you a couple things today. This is the data that I shared with you. I also have it linked in our class um, slideshow. I'm not actually going to use this here in the slideshow. I just thought I'd show you that it's there. So going back to the the, uh, the data, this is what I've given you. You are going to imagine that you collected all this data and you did all the counting of all the expert the respiration rates, um, the resting, the maximum, and then that resting rate after three minutes. So it, yes, I have made this up, but I need you to just pretend, imagine that you collected it. So now you've got this, what are you going to do with it? The first thing you want to do is you want to think about well, what this data means. It's really hard to write about this, you know, how do males compare to females and, and so forth. So going on to just the other tab in the spreadsheet. There are two things you can do here. Um, but, but that's compare males and females or compare the different fitness levels. But regardless of what you do, you need to get some number that tells you about how the, going back here, how this number, this, this final rate after three minutes of resting compared to these initial ones. Now we might think, let's compare it to this, because they started off at 13, they exercised, they got back to 15. Um, that does make the most sense to me as well, but it's helpful to think about this number that they got to, this maximum value. This, this person has 24, but let's just say for the sake of imagining an argument, it went to 100 and then down to 15. Okay, that might be useful to think about how quickly that rate went down from 100 back to 15. Because here we only know how the starting and the final one was. So we want to include this in our thinking, at least as a starting point. So what I've got here is, um, you can look at this, you have this file, but step one, is we need a value, we need to determine a value from the data that you can compare. So using subject one as an example, which, which I already have, he went from 13 up to 24, down to 15. And what we can calculate is right here. We can determine his final rate based on his minimum, his resting rate, or on his maximum, his um, the maximum, what he was got while what he got while he was exercising. So basically, we're asking two questions: How does the final rate compare to the resting rate? And this tells us how well he recovered with the resting rate as our comparison. Our, our anchor or our base of comparison. And number two, how does the final rate compare to the, oops, I meant to say maximum right here, excuse me. Copy paste error. This tells us how well the subject recovers with that maximum rate as our comparison. So what I've got here, I'm asking you basically, what is 15 compared to 13 and what is 15 compared to 24? And then I have these what you might see as a calculation here. I just wanted to show you how you can do this. This is 15 minus 13 divided by 13. Now, and this is 24 minus 15 divided by 24. Okay, so here I have this using my resting rate as the comp comparison um, benchmark, and here I have the maximum rate as the comparison benchmark. Now to get the computer to do the math for me, all I have to do is put an equal sign in front of this, and it'll give me this number, put an equal sign here, it will give me this number, and if I want to, I can ask the computer to format this as a percentage. Right here, this gives me two decimal places. I can also do more formatting. Um, I can I can round it down to one decimal place. It really doesn't matter right now. Um, I'm going to do custom number format, and I'm going to just for the sake of getting started here, I'm going to give two decimal places on my answer, which is right here. We'll do calc percentages later. So it's 15% and basically 37. This should be not be three decimal place. Oh, I didn't, I didn't format this one yet. Format uh, bleh, number. Usually once you do a format, it'll keep it on here for you. You can just click on it again. So I have basically 15% compared to 38%. Now those numbers, we don't really know what to do with them yet, but I do know that I need a, I need a 15 and a 38 in this table right here, 15 and a 38. Now I could go 15% and 38% on there and put it in there, and I'll get some table headings for this in a moment. But you're going to do this, so I don't want you to have to do this this hard way. I want to show you right now how you can get the computer to do this for you. And so keeping this in mind, 15 compared to 13, 
and 15 compared to 24. I'm going to show you how you can get the computer to do this. Okay, so I'm basically basically going to do this calculation right here, 15 minus 13 divided by 13, right here. But I don't want to go 15 minus 13 divided by 13 here and put an equal sign because I the computer can do all the work for me. I can say, hey computer, I want the cell to be equal to this. Oops, I forgot. Open my parenthesis. I want it to be equal to this minus this close the parenthesis, divide by the resting rate, and go enter. And it'll give me that calculation, 15%. Now I can do a selection of this, and I can do control, fill. Actually, I can't do it. There's a, I'm, I'm going to use a, a shortcut, which is um, command D, and it'll put the percentages down. Okay? So now I can see all my numbers of how they compared. This one, this uh, subject one, came down to 15% of his resting rate, 15% higher, 17% of his resting rate, back to the resting rate, and so on and so forth. And notice we do have a couple students thrown in here who actually went down lower than their resting rate. Okay. Now the other thing you can do is here, you can say this is going to be equal to using this number and you comparing it to this. So if you remember it, we're going to say this is equal to I believe it's 24 minus 15 divided by 24. That's 900 percent. That's not right. Well, because I didn't get my divider. And divided by 24, I did something wrong there. 38 percent. And then I can go like this, and I can Control D. I'm sorry, Command D. And I don't know why I gave you that. Now I can see my percentages calculated either way. So this is something I'm going to have you do on your own. I'm going to have you devise your own table heading here so you can see what this is. This is now a percentage, so it doesn't have any units. It's a comparison of this to this or this to this. Okay, um, that's what I'm going to have you do first. And then we'll do something with this this week as well to get started on figuring out how to compare this and how to try to come up with an answer to our question. It, does, does gender affect um, recovery rate or does uh, physical activity habits affect respiration rates? Okay. All right. Thank you very much.